One of the biggest gaps is really the lack of climate finance. That's been one of the key constraints um, to adaptation. Uh, the IPCC report AR6, Working Group 2, uh, clearly shows us that vulnerable countries are facing severe constraints to adaptation, and in particular as it relates to finance. Uh, the global climate finance and adaptation remains insufficient, um, and this is this is still the case um, in spite of the fact that at COP26 there were commitments to double adaptation finance. Uh, this And this should include both public and private finance sources. So it is clear that rapid scaling up of climate finance is needed. Uh, we need enhanced mobilization and access. This is something that small island developing states struggle with, and that is access to these financial resources that are essential for the implementation of successful adaptation and to reduce the adaptation gaps. As AOSIS, we have called for a delivery plan of this doubling of the adaptation finance. Uh, we think there should be timelines, there should be clear deliverables, so we know when the commitment um, will be fulfilled. But in addition to that, as part of the GLASS, um, which is the Glasgow Shamel Shake Work Program on the Global Goal on Adaptation, we think parties should work together to come up with metrics um, to really be able to measure progress on adaptation finance. So just not on terms of the flow, of finance, but also on the, in terms of the impact on the ground for those who really need it. One of the constraints or one of the concerns, I should say, of small island developing states is, of course, adding additional uh, reporting burdens on already capacity constrained countries. So it is critical for us to, to begin there with uh, a synthesis of all the indicators that we're already reporting on and then start to fill in the gaps. It was also uh, clear, however, that without a clear destination, without a clear outcome as to what we were working towards, um, parties did start the workshop in a less of a interactive workshop way um, and more in a statement um, position setting way. And I think these are things that we can already begin to learn from and advance how we want future workshops to um, be structured and to be uh, organized. Uh, so in, in that respect, I, I think there's um, some progress, very limited progress, uh, but certainly um, already lessons to be learned as we move through this two-year work program.